This is the Audi SQ5. We just picked this up to be our new daily driver. Now it's powered by a three liter V6 twin turbo diesel engine. It produces 230 kilowatts, which is 308 horsepower. That might not sound like much, but it's got over 650 newton meters of torque, which is enough to propel this two ton behemoth from zero to 60 mile an hour in just over five seconds. This makes the SQ5 one of the fastest SUVs in the world, let alone the fact it's still diesel. But knowing me, we still want it to be faster. What can we do to achieve that goal? We're gonna go and have a chat to eTunes to see what they can do to squeeze a little bit more power out of this. But before we do that, let's go take it out for some baseline runs. System checked okay. Proceed to test. 50. 100. Alright, so last night we were able to do our acceleration times. We managed a best of three runs of 5.35 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. That works out to be around 5.1 to 5.2 seconds to 60 mile an hour. We're going to head down to GD Auto Garage now to see how much power this thing puts out at the hubs. And uh, after that, we'll get each unit to do their thing and see how much power they can get out of it with a little bit of tweaking. Alright, I'll see you at GD Auto. That's a weird turbo arrangement. There's one that way and one this way. So the only problem is it seems that the traction control is still kicking in even with the laptop telling it not to. So we're gonna have to pull the fuse if we can find it. So it seems we've solved the ESC issue. So if you go to your book, you gotta pull out the driver's side for a right-hand drive vehicle. And it's fuse block A number two, and it'll be ESC control unit. So that should hopefully fix our issues and let us dyno properly. Alright, so we've just finished the standard dyno run and made 215 kilowatts at all four wheels. But what was astounding to me is it was running a staggering 33 pound of boost from stock. That's huge, just two and a bit bar of boost. Anyway, so we're gonna hand it over to e-tuners now and see how much more power they can get out of it at 35 pound. Alright, speak to Danny. Hi guys, um, I'm Danny from e-tuners Brisbane. I'm here at GT Auto Garage to um, custom flash tune box SQ5. So Mark came to us wanting more power, um, but apart from that, I asked him what else was his complaint of the SQ5. And with most customers that I come across with, they um, complain of the throttle lag. And what we're doing now is um, changing those parameters um, via the ECU map and as well as the um, uh, TCU mapping. We have three different types of systems out there. You've got the piggyback systems, um, we've got flash tuning, and we have standalone ECUs. So in a nutshell, Piggyback ECU tricks the ECU, flash tune retains the ECU, the factory ECU, and changes the parameter. Whereas the standalone ECU, you will be replacing the whole ECU, more than likely, why in the whole harness. E-Tune um, specializes in um, flash tuning. Um, we predominantly do Mercedes, Volkswagen, um, Audi, the VAG group. So, um, we did a base run on this car and uh, we made 217 kilowatts and 608 newton meters. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flash the car with our file and custom tune it until we're happy with the result. So we just finished um, flashing the um, ECU. Now I'm flashing the um, transmission control unit or the TCU. We will um, uh, increase the uh, torque limits change the um, shift points and um, see how you go.
after making some changes, uh, we um, ended up um, getting um, 230 kilowatts and um, 722 newton meters of torque. Um, and it's a lot fat in the mid range here, the gains here. Um, as you can see, that's where you do most of the driving every day, and it's what Mark wants. And um, I think it'll be um, a fun car to drive. Alright, moment of truth, let's stall it up. So that's an extra 500 up, 600 up, yep. Yeah. Oh shit! Those gear shifts, wow! And a red light. Damn! <laughs> that torque makes a difference, eh? Oh yeah. Alright, folks, it's now night time. The car has got its new tune in it. It feels quicker, but let's put it to the test and see just how much quicker it is against the GPS time we've got over there. We're gonna do some zero to 100 runs, and if we find a nice stretch of private road, we might try and squeeze in a quarter mile. I have no idea what's gonna run. Before, our best time was 5.3 to 100. Let's see what we can do. another run now one thing I've noticed is it allows you to start from a much higher RPM previously it was only revving to about 2600 RPM for the launch now it's going up to 3100 all right so here we go talk it up four point eight eight three that's pretty impressive 0.5 of a second faster. It's half a second faster, zero to 100 now than it was. is significantly quicker doesn't just feel it it actually is and we've proven it so there we went zero to 100 we managed to get it down to 4.88 seconds and uh, we did the quarter mile in 13.177 seconds at 164 kilometers per hour huge thanks to e-tuners you guys have done a brilliant job of making what was already a quick car into something surprisingly fast i mean that that is a very good result so i'm very happy with that thank you so much guys and of course thanks to gt auto garage if you like any of this content make sure you subscribe in the link below thanks very much guys see you at the next one